Okay, so I'm just starting off with Maybelline's Pure BB Cream and I'm just going to blend this all over my face with my buffing brush. Alright, so now I've got my Stay Time concealers. I've got a lighter one and a darker one. So the darker one is going on the spots on my face and the lighter one is going to highlight underneath my eyes. Okay, so this is a liquid bronzer that I have. I don't know what brand it is because the brand has been like rubbed off, but I just put it on my contouring brush here and dot it on my face and then I blend it all in. So now I'm just getting my cream blush and putting it on my cheeks and just blending this out with my fingers. And lastly for the face, I'm just getting my loose powder from Natural Collection and just dusting this all over my face to set everything in place. Onto the eyes, I'm just going to put a primer all over my eyes so my eyeshadow will stay on all night. I'm taking this pearly sort of nude colour and I'm just putting this all over my eyelid. Now I'm just grabbing this like light brown matte colour here and I'm just going to put that into my crease. 60s makeup is very like defined crease, big eyelashes and big eyeliner so that's the look I'm trying to achieve. Okay, so now I'm just grabbing this darker brown matte colour and putting that in my crease as well to divine it a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm just putting some tape in the corner of my eye. So when I apply my gel liner, so I can get a really nice thin line. And I'm doing my gel liner really, really big. I'm doing the wing really, really big because that's what it was like in the 60s. Okay, so now I'm just grabbing this like slightly shimmery black curler 
and I'm just going to put it like next to my winged liner and I'm going to follow my winged liner with the eyeshadow if that makes sense and then blend it into my crease. Now I'm just applying some mascara and then I'm going to apply some false lashes from Red Cherry which I got off of Amazon. Now I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows just like I normally would with some brow shadow. Okay, so for the lips, I'm doing it quite simple and basic. 60s are known for like big bright red lips, but I just have this red lip liner that I'm putting on over the top. If you want, you can put a lipstick on over the top of that as well. But I just put some like pinky, ready, shimmery lip gloss on the top of that, and I thought it looked really nice, so I just left it like that. And that is the finished makeup look. Okay, so for the hair, I've literally just blow dried my hair, <laughs> so it looks a bit of a mess, but I'm just sectioning it. So I've got the side sections just from my ear. I'm taking that and pulling them forward. And I'm just gonna take a big section from my crown and pull that forward as well, and just clipping those three sections together. For the rest of the hair at the back, I'm just brushing it through and I'm going to put it in a high ponytail, well as high as I can get it. Okay, so this is where things start to get a little bit confusing, so I'm just sectioning my hair again and getting my crown bits and sorting out my side bits. And for the crown, I'm going to section that into three other sections and start back combing and hairspraying each section, as you can see here.
Okay, so now I'm going to do the exact same thing for my side bits as well. I'm just going to grab them, hairspray, back comb, and brush them back gently with the rest of my hair. Okay, so this is where things start to get really confusing and difficult to explain. So I'm just puffing up my little poofy bit <laughs> and pinning it right next to my ponytail. And you can leave it just like that if you want. But now I'm just twisting the hair around and I'm going to add it to my ponytail. So I'm just getting my hairband and threading it underneath my hairband. Now, so for the side bits, I'm just going to brush them back, and these are going to be wrapped around my hairband and then pinned into my ponytail. So I wanted my ponytail to be a little bit more puffy and have some more volume in it so I just sectioned off my ponytail, hairsprayed it and then back combed it all back. like you can stop here and leave your hair straight like that puffy and messy which I think looks really really cute and nice but I'm gonna go ahead and curl my ponytail it didn't really take long to curl the ends of my hair on my ponytail for about five minutes And there you go, that is the finished look for my hair and makeup. And now on to the outfit. So this whole look together is a 60s rock and roll look. And the top I got from Sainsbury's. The puffy petticoat is just from Amazon. And the skirt and the little collar is what my mum made. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye!